G'day, I'm Goose and welcome to Scoop. On today's episode, a new challenger approaches, learning to fly, and Bajo, Rat and I ask the all-important question, clickers. Hmm, what are they good for? Ha, ah, nice to be back on set. Still smells like Bajo though. All right, let's kick things off with the news. Ooh. And first up, there's been a stunning David vs Goliath upset at a recent Super Smash Bros tournament. Little known player Looty, who's only been playing Smash Bros for less than a year and has never won a tournament before, was up against Zero, a player who has won a heap of tournaments and is widely considered to be one of the best Smash players in the world. In the final round of a best of five match, Looty was on the back foot when he managed to surprise all, turning things around and launching Zero out of the arena on just 54% damage. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Matai beat Zero! Matai! The truth! The victory! Zero was so shaken by the loss, he later joked he'd be hanging up his controller for good. Looty went on to place 33rd overall, knocking Zero down to 49th, his lowest ever ranking. Ha! Huh, he got super smashed! Next up, do you want to fly? Do you want to soar like an eagle? Well, apparently, now you can. If you have Minecraft on console, that is. Yes, the latest Minecraft minigame has gone live. Known as Glide, players can now easily don a set of hard-to-get elytra wings and fly majestically through obstacle courses. Now go, fly my pretties! Next up, what do you think happens when you ruin not one, but two consoles? Uh, you probably get yelled at, but if you do it in just the right way, you get this. Meet the Nintendo Switch D4! Uh, I actually came up with that name, by the way, because I don't know what this guy actually calls it. But it's a custom-made Switch dock created by YouTuber Tetsunzone that combines the Switch's dock with this retro-chic Nintendo 64 body. For what it's worth, the N64 was already broken, so technically he only ruined one console. Although I'd argue he made it better. Alright, that's it for the news. Time for a chat with Bajo and Rad. I'm gonna try something different this week. See if you make this work, Mr. Editor. Oh, 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 it worked! Hey guys! Hey Goose! Hi! We're at the Scoop Roundtable today where I thought we could have a formal but laid-back discussion about a genre of game known as the clicker. Now Radley, for those who don't know, could you tell us first of all what is a clicker? Absolutely, so a clicker is a game where basically the main premise is you click a button and you get points or money and then you use that to buy other things that help you click faster or click more and just keep going. It's kind of all you do, isn't it? That's yeah, it. pretty much. Like you click stuff to get stuff and then you click other stuff to get that stuff quicker. Clicker quicker. It's a, it's an interesting experience. What does it mean well, that's to the click? Thing. I mean, have Why? we played them? Do we like them? Bajo, are you a fan of them? You know, I, I hadn't played that many in the past because I've always thought of them as this pointless experience. Why am I just going to click one thing when I've got all these other amazing games to play? But in researching for this roundtable chat, I played a whole bunch of them and I'm kind of on board. You're They're hooked fun. Now. Yeah. They're good. I would actually say that they've evolved from like just a clicker mm -hmm. to incremental games because for example one new one that's come out is Bit City and that one you don't actually click at all it's just it ticks up by itself but you still have that whole thing of like buying things to make your money go up faster so they've taken away the one thing you were doing which was clicking and now you don't do anything at all you just manage it do you yeah okay but in, in a way that you're always seeing progress and that's why I love them that's so why it's they're fun devolved it hasn't evolved uh, well, the graphics are better. Okay, fair enough. Well, <laughs> they have come a long way because these began as browser games. I believe Cookie Clicker was one of the first ones. Mm. The classic cookie. Mm. And that was mm. just, you were counting cookies, you were clicking cookies. As it went on, you were adding things to your bakery, I believe. Yeah, you would add lots of grannies. Grannies, um, yes. I played a lot of that one today and I could not get enough grannies. <laughs> I just wanted more grannies, more grannies, more grannies. Well, and it was really exciting. The more grannies I got, the more excited I got about how many cookies were being cooked. Guys, why do they hook people so much? Why do you find yourself compelled to keep playing them, right? Because you always see things getting better. There's always mm. that next little goal. There's always something that you can be like, oh, I'm almost at another granny. And when I buy her, then I'll be going <laughs> faster and I can get another granny. I can get 20 grannies. <laughs> it's almost tapping into something really core that gamers like. What do you think that is, Bajo? Well, I think it's about satisfaction. So my favorite was Clicker Heroes. Mm -hmm. And in Clicker Heroes, you're fighting lots of beasts just by clicking on them. But then after a while, you get enough gold to recruit a new hero. And then they're constantly helping you fight those beasts. And then you start recruiting more heroes and leveling up your characters and moving through worlds. It's got all of this like RPG adventure game stuff in it, but it's also really responsive. Like everything you do clicks and flashes and, and shines. But I especially like the way that you don't have to click so much. So many of them you're just clicking, clicking, and it hurts my hand after a while. But with this one, you click for a bit and then you like collect the coins just by moving the mouse around. I found it delightful. 
And I think it is really important that, you know, it develops and changes past just clicking. And one really good example of that was Soda Dungeon that we reviewed a couple weeks ago. That's <laughs> right. And it also had some really nice art. I think you're right. It's got to be tactile. It's got to be responsive. And more than just numbers, to have things like stats and to have your hero's power or something that's from an RPG or, or a traditional game, I think actually makes it feel more than just a mundane clicker. But at the same time, I do really love that pure clicker experience. Like, mm. still, still really into Cookie Clicker and... <laughs> Uh, Midas Gold Plus, oh, okay. which is one that's just got a little bit more graphics, but very similar, you know, mechanic behind it. Sure. Mm, just so mm. good. Well, the one I really enjoyed was Doomsday Clicker, but oh, again, yeah. I do think you're right, you're onto something where it doesn't look like you're playing a game because I'm on a bus and I'm just there <laughs> madly tapping my phone, or you're on a computer just madly clicking your mouse, and for anyone walking past and you're there furiously tapping or clicking, it's not like you're playing a game, it looks like you've lost your mind. Yeah, it is something that people really get into quite intensely, but usually for quite a short amount of time because they're a bit mindless and they get boring pretty quick. Mm. That's true, although I do find I play them a bit longer when they're on the touchscreen. Something about that tap tap motion feels better. Yeah, but then it's a tapper, it's not a clicker. No, 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 it's an incremental game. Mm, no, I would say it's more. Guys, 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 no, no, it's an incremental tapper clicker. <gasps> Oh, oh, I like that. Well, there you go. I think we've just renamed the genre. All right, that wraps it up for our round table chat. Thanks for joining me, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, all that talk of cookies makes me want a cookie. Mm. What's your favorite cookie, guys? Uh, white macadamia nut. Mm. Big. Just big. Mm, nice. It doesn't have to any flavor. Bigger the be cookie table size cookie. This mm. table size. Yes. Mm. Interesting. And it's mine. Ah, what a delightful bit of click clack chit chat. Thanks, guys. A quick reminder to all budding artists out there, we still want you to create some pretty pictures for our wall. There's heaps of ways to do it. You can make art IRL, that's in real life, or create it digitally on your computer, or even within a game itself. Then snap a screenshot or photo and send it into us at this address via email or by old fashioned snail mail. And we'll slap it right up on the wall where all you sensational Scoopians can see it. Just like this. All right, that's the scoop for this week. Until next time, goose out. I made that. Just Darren and I, super best friends, high-fiving, immortalized in artwork. Mwah.